Imagine a world on the brink. The old certainties are crumbling. Anxiety hangs in the air like a suffocating fog. This was the world that birthed expressionism, an art movement that dared to expose the raw nerves of human experience. Forget pretty landscapes and idealized portraits. Expressionism dove headfirst into the maelstrom of human emotion. It wasn't about capturing the external world faithfully, it was about expressing the inner world with unflinching honesty. These artists weren't afraid to show us fear, anxiety, joy and despair in all their rawness. They painted what they felt, not just what they saw. They gave voice to a generation grappling with unprecedented change and uncertainty. This wasn't just art, it was a cry from the soul. To understand Expressionism, we must journey back to the dawn of the 20th century, specifically to Germany. The Industrial Revolution was reshaping society at a dizzying pace. Cities swelled with people seeking opportunity but finding themselves lost in the urban sprawl. Traditional values were challenged as new philosophies and scientific discoveries emerged. This period of rapid change brought with it a sense of unease, a feeling that the old world was slipping away and the new one was fraught with uncertainty. This anxiety seeped into every aspect of life, and artists were not immune. They became seismographs of their time, registering the tremors of societal and psychological upheaval in their work. Germany in particular was a hotbed of intellectual and artistic ferment. Artists, writers and thinkers gathered in cafes and studios, debating the big questions of the day, the meaning of life, the nature of reality and the role of art in a rapidly changing world. Out of this cauldron of ideas, Expressionism was born. No art movement is complete without its pioneers, and Expressionism had its share of trailblazers. Edvard Munch, the Norwegian painter, pierced the veil of polite society with his iconic work, The Scream. The distorted figure, the blood-red sky, it was a visceral depiction of existential angst that resonated deeply with a generation on the verge of a nervous breakdown. Wassily Kandinsky, the Russian painter and art theorist, took a different tack, exploring the spiritual and emotional power of colour and form. His abstract compositions were like visual symphonies, each shape and hue vibrating with inner life. Then there was Egon Schiele, the Austrian enfant terrible, who shocked Vienna with his raw and sexually charged depictions of the human body. His contorted figures and unsettling gazes challenged conventional notions of beauty and exposed the vulnerability and darkness lurking beneath the surface of human existence. Finally, Ernst Ludwig Kirchner, a founding member of the German expressionist group Die Brücke, the bridge, captured the alienation of modern urban life with his jagged lines and bold colours. His paintings of street scenes and city dwellers pulsed with a nervous energy, reflecting the frenzy and fragmentation of the modern metropolis. What united these diverse artists under the banner of Expressionism was their shared commitment to expressing subjective experience. They weren't interested in faithfully reproducing the world as they saw it. They wanted to convey the emotional and psychological impact of that world on the human psyche. To achieve this, expressionist artists developed a distinctive visual language. Color became a powerful tool for conveying emotion. Gone were the muted tones and naturalistic palettes of Impressionism. Expressionists embraced bold, often unrealistic colors to heighten the emotional impact of their work. Think of the fiery reds and yellows in Munch's The Scream, or the vivid blues and greens in Kandinsky's abstractions. Brush strokes were no longer meant to be invisible, blending seamlessly into the surface of the canvas. Instead, they became an expressive element in their own right, visible traces of the artist's hand and emotional state. Thick, swirling brush strokes conveyed a sense of turmoil and anxiety, while jagged, angular lines suggested tension and aggression. 